welcome here to ECAD, where we educate dogs to assist people with disabilities. The fact that you got to work two or three times for the same dollar, oh well. Some people only have to work once, but they hate their job, or they're miserable. I'm not miserable. I'm quite happy. She's a very good mother, an excellent grandmother, great wife. We've been married 30 years, and we've had our ups and downs. She thinks outside the box. You try to make her stay inside that box, and she'll just go crazy. We work with about 75 to 100 kids a day just in the schools. We're on eight school campuses. On the weekend, up at our breeding center in uh, Torrington, Connecticut, we have kids from the community that can come up and volunteer. I take on a lot of the harder cases. ECAD was the first program to train dogs for people with sleep apnea. Now other programs call us for advice on how to do it. We're also training dogs for very young children with autism. We started a program called Project Heal, where we're working with veterans that are in transition. All these veterans are coming back from Iraq. Just going back into civilian life is not an easy process. And they need something that will give them fulfillment and not have to talk about everything that went on over there. Phil is a recipient of a dog from ECAD. He got his dog in November of 2009. He's a Purple Heart recipient. Now is volunteering in, in our apprenticeship program to become an instructor himself. This is my service dog, Reese. We have been a team since uh, November, and he has helped with my PTSD immensely. I was actually being sent on R&R, &R and uh, on our way near Fallujah, the helicopter was hit by a Russian shoulder-launched missile. 21 days and like 10 or 12 surgeries later, on the morning of Thanksgiving, I became an amputee. Then I heard about ECAT. Reese has allowed me to feel more comfortable showing my human side. Without Reese, I'd be stuck in the same situation that I was, that I had been for the last four years, without a way out. We're placing dogs with veterans who've been wounded or have PTSD. And so now we have soldiers training dogs for soldiers. And it's a great fulfillment for them. The feeling of confidence comes from not only working with Reese, but with the rest of the training. Those are the kinds of things that evolve as long as you keep your, your mind open to things and, and take a chance. The government, the Veterans Affairs Administration, wants to set up a program exactly with what ECAT is doing to have veterans training service dogs as a therapeutic benefit and the government is going to be picking three to five locations and we're, we're trying to have ECAT be one of those pilot locations. You got him down, then tell him belly, show me belly. That's it, that's it. I would tell people that if you have a passion for it, just don't accept no for an answer. It doesn't mean you need a big building or a big anything to start. All you have to do is open the door and walk out of your house and start. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.